I'm Gabe Lyon uh, from Chicago Architecture Foundation. Shout out to my team. Uh, this is a little history tour into the past and also into the future. I have a crazy idea. I actually think the entire concept of cons connected learning has its origins in the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. I know you're skeptical, but listen, just go with me on this. <clears throat> fire just, just wrecked just wrecked the city of Chicago. This is the fire where the cow kicked the, right? Okay, so wrecked, wrecked the city. But then after the city was like burned to the ground, 300 people died, it was also sad. Great growth happened. There was a population immigration surge. You know, by the turn of the century, Chicago was actually mostly immigrants and first generation uh, born people. There was poverty, there was traffic, there was you know garbage, there was pollution. And by the 1900s, the business people were like freaking the F out. They were like, this is chaos. We're never going to be a great city if we don't get it together and get a plan. So Daniel Berman, Burnham and Edward Bennett made a plan. And then two years later, they made a plan for students called the Wacker Manual. And they had one mission, that students have to be active stewards of their city. So they made the plan of Chicago, but the heart of it was really, what could students do? And this woman, Ella Flagg Young, who was a disciple of John Dewey, great progressive educator, uh, <clears throat> she was like, this is awesome. It's mandatory. Every single kid who is an eighth grader in Chicago is gonna read the Wacker Manual. In fact, Mayor Jay Daly actually read the Wacker Manual when he was, in, when he was a kid. And let's just check in with the progressives, because we mostly are them. You know, progressives think that the purpose of education is not actually acquisition of skills. That the purpose of education is fulfill your potential and then do good for the betterment of others. So, you know, you can read this really, really fast. You have fast eyes. I'm talking really fast also. Um, but here's the gist of it. Everybody's a planner. And the real question for us in this moment, in this connected learning space is like, all right, well, how do we plan? Here's some plans. These are all plans for the city of Chicago right now. None of them have a component for youth, none, zero. And the question is, <clears throat> you know, wh what is the question for planning? This is the question. How do we deal with these disparities? The, the shiny center in the periphery is, you know, my hero, Craig Watkins, has posed. This is a question that's a social question. It's not a technical training question. And when we really start to think, like, what if this was a city? All right, so now we're in the future. What if this were a city? Is this a good city? How would we know? How would we decide? And that's where I really feel like, is it enough to be connected, or do we need to be connected with a purpose so that we can make a judgment about this? The reality is kids are already urban planners. They don't need training. Uh, back in January, I and my colleague Jesse launched this new program. It, teen program and we said to the teens on their first day, all right, you're here, find a partner, go build something. And they built these structures. And we said to them, all right, so what's the difference between what you just built and a city? In 30 minutes, we had a beautiful city. There were no prisons. Everybody had a way to live, make money, have transit. There was culture, there was libraries. These kids did not need training to be beautiful city planners. So, you know, that's really the question for us. We're connected, we can build a structure, but to what end? And so that's where I think the Wacker Manual comes in. So this is back to 1911, we're going back in time again. Wacker Manual has two big ideas. One, it's being connected with a purpose, and two, it's not just some kids. It's all kids, all of them, every single one of them. So, all right, I like to play this game, maybe you play it too, where you imagine there's actually a disaster happening right now, but you can't see it. And what's happening is like pensions are going away and infrastructure is crumbling and like your parks aren't as good as you want them to be. So let's just say this was the, the crisis happening and you couldn't see it and you needed to make a new Wacker manual. Well, what would it look like in 2015? Maybe it would be a graphic novel with young people as the protagonists. We're actually playing with this idea at CAF right now. But let's follow that through. What if there actually was a graphic novel that was mandatory for all Chicagoans to read, where they were the protagonists and they were the stewards of their own city? So, you know, look, I, I know that a graphic novel is like not going to solve the problems of Chicago. I, I get that. You get that too. But I do think there is something about the nugget in the Wacker Manual that we need to take to heart. We do need to take our work a little bit more seriously. We do need to believe that it's not just some kids, it's all kids, because we as adults can actually equip young people not just to be 
stewards of their own future, but actually of everyone's cities. So thank you.